Hi everybody, uh, today we're making a little video, I'd like to show you uh, how I do a battery for my scooter and pretty much uh, all my uh, scooter, go-karts, battery, it's using a lithium ions and uh, here's the original box from my uh, Uber Scoot uh, CT800 and inside it was f it did fit 3 lit acid battery like that, it's a 12 volts, 9 amp to be honest, that battery is kind of joke. I mean, lit, lit acid. I mean, if you are under 100 pounds or so, it probably will be okay for, I don't know, maybe 5-7 miles. It's not like they do advertise it up to 12 miles. It, there's no way it can last. On my case, because I'm about, uh, almost 250, uh, three batteries in, in that box uh, connected by, uh, in serial, uh, basically, when I take first time for spin, uh, actually, and probably on a second or third mile distance, the lights start blinking. It's a, it's getting low. That's when I decided to go with lithium ions. And lithium ions I using already for uh, on on uh, on this scooter, Uber Scoot uh, CT800. I'm using second year. Uh, on my previous scooter, I was using lithium ions also. Basically. I did get uh, packs like that from uh, eBay. It's a replacement pack for, I believe it's for Dell computer or so, or Acer. Anyway, it doesn't matter what uh, battery you're getting. Make sure they all bring you and they all from same uh, from same batch because to, to, you have to make sure they all will be same capacity. I got those battery pretty cheap. I got uh, 20 of them and it's like uh, under $10 a piece. Pretty much the whole battery pack is gonna cost me slightly under 200, which I'm kind of happy because if you're getting if you getting replacement uh, lead acid, the lead acid is gonna cost you. I mean, if you picking up locally, probably it's gonna cost you 70, 80 dollars or so. Pretty much 120 bucks difference gonna be compared to lead acid and lithium ions. And lead acid you you's gonna use the original charger. With uh, lithium ions, you have to have a charger which is capable do a lithium char a lithium ion charge battery. And but the, another advantage why I'm switching, I did switch it a few years ago with lit, uh, lithium uh, uh, ions. First of all, uh, in same battery box, I can fit uh, more more powerful battery. Uh, original will be in the 36 volts and 12 amp. In this box, that configuration that I'm using previously, it will fit uh, 42 volts, uh, 22 amp, which uh, on a voltage is higher, speed control handles no problem, and amperage uh, twice as much. Anyway, let's go with uh, the new battery. Uh, pretty much I crack it all, already all on, I mean assemble it, and uh, I, I, I just left one to show you guys how, how, how the pack was looks, and the part number, whatever was there, crap. The, the, yeah, it's a GW240, uh, 11.1 volts, uh, 5.2 amp. The thing is, when you're getting a uh, replacement battery, they usually aftermarket one made in China. And the specs, even here, it's at uh, 5200, which means it's supposed to be uh, what, uh, 20, 2600 milliamp. When you crack it open, you look at battery pack itself, and it's a 1800 milliamp. The Chinese, where they wrote it down, is kind of joke, but still, uh, 12 cells, uh, a bank. I'm using six cells in a row, uh, two rolls. Uh, 12, uh, 12 cells in a one bank. It's, it's going to give you around 22 amp, and pretty much I'm making 10, 10 cells. It's going to be five banks like that, and uh, you see. Two rolls in, in in parallel, and uh, it's gonna work ju uh, just fine. Then another thing, when I put the cells together in a previous my battery, I was using super glue to glue glue them down. I was gonna show you right now. It kind of looks scary. That's my old pack, and the thing is, well, the old pack I kind of screwed up. And the thing is, uh, the old pack I was using on my previous scooter, which was uh, eight cells, not ten cells. And I was using for a couple of years. Then I uh, upgraded scooter from my uh, old Curie to uh, uh, Uber Scoot. Uber Scoot. And I need 10 cells. What I did, I bought on eBay additional 
two more I mean four more packs and I build it this this pack which also 1800 million milliamp per cell but the thing is this old cells already has a couple years and probably close to a thousand miles when I build new one I, I attach it put, I mean make them work together of course the new cells uh, much more stronger than old cells and in the last couple of years that's what it did happen all cells start giving up and when I start taking it apart I forgot I glued them together I thought I was gonna replace the bad cells and put it new ones it's kind of well I did remove it old ones but it turns I got only uh, let's see I got uh, five cells old ones and two good new ones I decided well I'm not gonna monkey around adding more new cells eventually the old cells are gonna blow it anyway I was gonna go with new a new pack completely and this time instead using a, a super glue glue it between cells what I did I using the double sides a little scotch tape and I tape it them and between them that means when when I place it and another things well yeah when you place it the battery cell I mean the cells it will it will sticks and then I, you wrap it with a uh, uh, Let's call fiberglass tape. Well, I call fiberglass tape. Some people call it a reinforcement tape. Uh, it looks kind of has a fabric from uh, fiberglass or so. It's really strong. And then when you assemble it, that pack, it will not go anywhere. Especially after when you brace it with wires. Um, and positive, positive, negative, negative. It will be, I mean, really strong. And it plus it going in that uh, in that plastic box. Then another thing, I was gonna mention it also. Those batteries, how you crack it open. Actually, because it's made in China, they use it very little glue. I mean, you just can tap it like that, and and it will crack apart. Some people do. Uh, oh, it's ready. Start cracking. Some people do. They they stick it a razor blade in in a crack and like crack it open. Some people do stick it a screwdriver and prime it. But this screwdriver, you're gonna be probably there is a chance you're gonna rip it a uh, plastic wrapping from uh, cells. All my cells, you see, I mean, it looks almost as good as new. Well, they are actually new. And yeah, I've got some, some glue left, it's no big deal. But the thing is, how I did mine, I'm holding cell like, I mean, I'm sorry, I, I don't have to today cameraman, pretty much I have to do it by myself. I'm holding uh, battery pack like an angle 45 degree, and with hammer, uh, Let's see what my hammer. I'm gonna show you my my hammer how it looks. I got that fancy hammer with one with a rubber end, another one with plastic end. And with plastic end, I'm gonna just tap it right right in the corner. I mean, right on top of the corner. And the case, and I tap it kind of good. I'm not uh, babying with that battery, like uh, very little taps. Well, little taps, the cells gonna move inside or so. Uh, I mean, just kind of pretty good. Actually, let's try it. Oh, yeah. So, sorry about that. Uh, like I said, I mean, I don't have cameraman today. Pretty much I have to do everything by myself. I mean, I'm left-handed. Pretty much, I'm not sure if you can see it, but anyway, I'm holding cell like that on a uh, 40 degree. Actually, let, let me do this way. Yeah, sorry guys. About there you go. And then... The battery... Let me get camera again. Battery just opens like that without any damage for internal cells. You see the cells, no nicks, no dents, nothing. And then you pull it out with scissors, you cut it, three wires, uh, remove it to the, the, the tapes. And pretty much in the end, your cells are gonna look looks like that, nice and clean. Well, that's a part one. I, and when I put all cells together, probably I'm gonna show you how, how it looks. And between uh, cells pack, for example, I mean that's uh, that's one bank, that's another bank. The wire is gonna go through to make sure they will not short it. I'm using a foam. It's kind of pretty good foam, and it's gonna cut it on the right uh, right side, and it's gonna attach it like that. Yeah. Like I said, I mean that's my second pack will be. Uh, that this way you can build it packs for your bicycle, e -sc I mean, scooters, electrical scooter, go karts, anything what required battery you can build it. And uh, like I said, those uh, lithium ions, even 1800, it's pretty good cells. Uh, 
some were made in Japan, some were made in China. This one actually, it's a pH green power. It doesn't say where it's, where it's made. Probably in China. But usually they last uh, five, seven years or so. I got some old cells which I still use on my go kart. And they are probably like, probably ten, I mean seven, eight years, maybe even ten years. And they still run strong. Anyway. I hope that video was going to be useful for someone. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye everybody.